Hey look, post-its. Yeah, I figured I'd give actually knowing what I wanted to talk about a shot because it's been a while since I've done that, so let's see how that goes. So first thing, or well, second thing, I guess. James, on your video on Friday, there was a comment about how it was weird that we keep apple juice in petrol containers, to which I have to ask, you keep your petrol in apple juice containers? Relativity is fun. Anyway, so James, I really don't think we're on the same page as far as assumptions go. Like, it sort of seemed to me that you were kind of making assumptions as to what other people assume, which is still assuming. And I of course mean this about what you were saying about people assuming that people on the internet get stupid about caution and yeah. That is kind of a funny topic though if you ask me, and that it kind of feels like most YouTubers really sort of dread the day they have to explain what they do to other people. And maybe it's just that I've lucked out and that the people who I've told about my video blogs are rather receptive of the idea and think it's kind of funny, if anything, it's cool, I don't know, yeah. That being said, I do see your point. Assumptions are dangerous, especially once you get into those loops where you're assuming that people are assuming things that you're assuming and uh, I don't know. It goes on. However, I would kind of argue that they are a necessary evil. Of course, I'd also argue that they aren't always even evil at all. Like, a lot of basic human interaction kind of hinges on just the assumptions that people are making eye contact with you and acknowledge your existence and your greetings and I just mean that things would be kind of cumbersome if you had to specify, hi, I see you, do you see me? Yes, I see you, every time you had a conversation. Not to say that it's always safe to assume those things, but I guess that's an inherent risk. As far as calling an assumption an educated guest goes, I'm not really sure I'm on the same page with that either, and it's kind of funny because usually I'm the pedantic one that picks up on these small things in your videos, James, and spends a lot of time talking about nothing. But yeah, I just mean that some words are very cut and dry in their definition, like genocide. Whereas assumptions aren't always the same thing. And I suppose it is good to differentiate, but I hesitate to go back to the language discussion just because I don't really feel like it. But yeah, point being with all of that, I don't really agree that assumptions are these horrible things that should without exception be avoided at any and all costs. In fact, I don't think anything should always without exception be anything. In fact, and I realize that this is sort of irrelevant and tangential, but I would say that absolutes are much more dangerous than assumptions. Yes, never. never Never, ever, ever give an absolute. Ever. So yeah, here's a segue for you because I do kind of want to go back and talk about caution because I couldn't really fit that into my whole spiel there. Mostly I just found your example about putting your address on the internet kind of amusing, not only for the reason that you put forth, but also the fact that I don't feel like people randomly give out their internet in real life either. I mean, people do, but it's generally purposed. And not to say that people aren't deliberate on the internet either, but I think it's kind of a far cry to say that people are more cautious on the internet. I mean, some people certainly are, and it is very possible to browse the internet and enjoy its features, not all of them, obviously, without giving out your personal information. Though I will point out that doing so is sort of analogous to spending your entire life inside your home and never going out or meeting people or just putting yourself in any risk at all, which is equally possible, I suppose. I, I just don't think that we should be comparing real life and the internet as if they were competing things. Because they aren't. I mean, what is the internet but a part of life? But yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for you, so Jeff, I'll see you tomorrow. And bam. Did I really just say bam?